Today on BRS TV we have refractometers. This is one of those things that basically every reefer eventually graduates to when they get sick of monkeying around with all their various hydrometers. A refractometer is one of the easier ways to measure salinity. It works by measuring the refractive index of the water. The refractive index is found by comparing the speed of light traveling through the sample versus the speed of light traveling through a vacuum. And while that might sound complex, with a handheld refractometer like this one, you'll simply take a couple drops of your tank water and put it on the prism in front. And depending on the refractive index of the water, the prism will bend the light differently and it will read out in an easy to read scale calibrated for salinity. There's also some digital models like this one from Milwaukee. Originally, this is the kind of thing I thought would be kind of silly to spend money on. However, after using it and experiencing the instant results and peace of mind, there's no way that I would ever give it back. With a digital refractometer, all you need to do is fill the sample well and hit the read button. It's pretty common to calibrate your refractometer using zero TDS RODI water. It's probably because most of us have it readily available. However, it's not really ideal to calibrate the unit to zero since we're not going to be using it in that range. It'd be much better to use a calibration solution like this one from Aquacraft where we can calibrate the tool to a range where we're actually going to use it. I like this one from Aquacraft because it comes with a neat little dropper. One last note on your refractometer that's sadly overlooked is you are measuring salt water, so it's really important to use a damp cloth and clean it off when you're done to avoid rust and contamination of future samples. If you are interested in being notified when we make new additions to BRS TV, you can sign up for our newsletter found on almost every product page. You can also log into your account and hit the Newsletter Subscriptions tab.